In this video, I'd like to look at a bash script that uses JQ to uh, read and parse a JSON file. So show JQ, as it says, is a lightweight and flexible command line JSON processor. So I've installed that so I can use JQ to read and understand JSON. And then here's the JSON I'm going to be pulling down. Uh, I have it on my website. It, uh, the JSON starts with an object. It has a property painters, which is an array, square bracket means array. So this is a property, then a colon and the value of the property starting with a square bracket is an array. And then it's an array of objects. Uh, it's the painters, the, uh, they have properties like last name, first name, country icon, country name, birth date, death date. And then they have another property not going to be dealt with in this script, but, but a later one that I will, you do something with this. But there's a, another property of painters, which is paintings, which is then another array, an array within an array, but not here, maybe later. Okay, so that's what we will be, we'll, we'll get this file, then we will uh, be reading this file in and parsing it with JQ. Okay, so here is, I broke the getting the, I broke the file down into two parts. This is more a setup for later, but I had a base URL, which was the location up to the file and then the name of the file. And then I, put them together, concatenate them together and use wget. And I've suppressed the standard output and the error output. So I won't see any result of wget other than you know, if I look into the file system, I will have the file. And I know that there was, uh, and then I can, when, when it's brought down by wget, the name of the file will be uh, dollar sign file. Uh, I could use, if I had used the full URL, then I could use base name to get the name of the file. But since I was separated the base from the file from the beginning, then I already had it. Um, this is uh, a line of code that uh, gets me how many uh, painters there are. So again, painters was a property of the object in the file. And I'm finding using this uh, vertical bar length, I'm piping it in and using this length, I'm finding out how many there are. And then I'm, uh, I do it again with this sort of minus R, this sort of raw option. A lot of the things JQ uh, gives me, like without down here, without the R, when I'm getting the last name, it will put quotes around it. And if I don't want the quotes, then, then the minus R. Okay, so I'm getting, the number of painters, and then I'm setting up a sort of C style uh, for loop starting at zero, going up to, but not including the number, going up by ones. And then I'm doing cat to sort of spill out the contents of the file and pipe it into the JQ, the, the JSON uh, parser. And I want the painter's property. Remember that's an array with a uh, particular index i, dollar sign i. So it'll be the zero, one, and then the one, and then the two. And then I'm pulling out the last name property and this minus r, this raw option will uh, forego the, the quotes around it. Um, so I'm getting in this version, the last name, and then the first name, and I was echoing them out, but then I turned that into a comment. Then I'm creating a, a full name, but I'm doing the last name first. So it's not the standard full name, um, but I want it by the artist's last name. They're more well-known by their last name, so I want the last name first. Um, then in a later version, not in this version or in version two, but in version three, if you will, I want to eventually turn these uh, artist names into the into folders, the names of folders, and I hate spaces in the names of my folders. So I wanted to get rid of my spaces. 
And so this the, here, I'm doing sort of a, sub, a bash substitution. The slash slash means global. Um, so I'm going to uh, replace all the spaces. One of the artists, let me see if I can find that, is James Abbott McNeil Whistler. So he's got many names and spaces in there. So when I create his name, there will be many, many spaces. And I want them all to be replaced by underscores. So I need the global. So this is slash slash is a global replace and replace it with an underscore. And so then I'll have the full name uh, without any with the spaces replaced by underscores. And then I will use the TR trace um, to replace uh, capital letters with small letters. So I will get the names out all in small letters. So let me... I mean, the, the name of the file was painting data or painting, painting data.json. And this is just if I had it, I would get rid of it. I didn't have it. But okay, now I am running this script, art.sh. And five was that there were five artists. And then here is. Uh, Edward Manet, Manet underscore Edward, and then in small letters. So just my five artists, Edward Manet, George Sora, Henri Rousseau, Gustav Klimt, and James Abbott McNeil Whistler. Okay, so that was version one. And what I didn't like here was this uh, sort of catting the whole file and then catting it again for the last name and then catting it all again for the first name. And so I wanted to try and uh, combine this. So that's what I did over here in version two. So same start URL base and file, getting the file with the suppression, um, finding out how many there are, setting up a loop. I didn't need to do this twice, uh, but it was just a vestige of leftover from my debugging and working through it. Um, here's my loop uh, over, the, again, the old fashioned C style loop over uh, the index up to the, uh, up to num not including. And then here is me getting the full name uh, in once. So cat the file, spill out all the contents of the file, send it to JQ, do the raw thing, getting the ice, painter and this time getting the last name and the first name property um and then i'm echoing it out so we see what we have and then i am doing this replacement of space with an underscore and printing it out and then what we'll see is that didn't have the uh full effect that i wanted um so we know that this is, we knew in James Abbott, Neil Whistler, that this took care of multiple spaces, but it won't eliminate all of uh, the spaces in the names. And so it must not be a simple space. I never did figure out exactly what it was, but we'll see then that, that there are still spaces in the name after this. And so we'll have some underscores in James Abbott, Neil, but we won't have it in in this new, whatever this was in giving us the last name and the first name was not just a simple space. So this didn't work. So then it came along this time and used some regular expression here and used this sort of set. And in when you're sort of dealing with square brackets and you're dealing with a set in regular expressions, the carrot within within the square brackets means not and so i'm replacing anything that's not a capital letter a small letter or a number with an underscore and then i finally have what i want in terms of getting rid of the spaces and then i put it all into lowercase so let me uh, delete that painting file because i have it from the previous running of the script now i'm going to run bash art two. And all I want to point out here is 
I just got the name from from the JQ with the two things and echoed it out. So that is here, Edward Manet. And then I tried to do the replacement of a space with an underscore and it did not succeed for Edward Manet. It was doing, we see here under James Abbott McNeil that it was effective within, within this long first name with spaces it worked, but with, with whatever this is between the last name and the first name coming from this JQ that's getting us two properties, um, this, this wasn't working and I needed this. Now I could have then eliminate 13. I think 15 will do the job of 13. It's, it's a more robust thing. So I could eliminate 13, but I wanted to show you that this wasn't working. Okay, so then I got rid of some spaces for underscores. Now this time I got rid of all spaces for underscores and lower cased it. And so that's what we see here. Okay, that was what I wanted to show you, sort of using bash to read and parse a JSON file. Thank you for your attention.